Welcome to Pursuit of a Perfect System. I know this is a video that a lot of you have been asking about when requesting. It's the sound demonstration video for the review for the Wharfdale Evo 4.2 speakers. And the Group Mega Test is all over. And following the hype, really, of me announcing that the Wharfdale Evo 4.2 were my best in class for the larger speakers of that group test, really, there's no pressure on me to deliver something special in this video. And I've worked really, really hard, and I do think what you're about to hear is pretty damn special. I always say that sound quality speaks for itself, and that's really what this video is going to be all about. It's going to be one long sound demonstration, and that is to try and give you <laughs> the best impression I can of how good I've had the Evo 4.2 sounding in my listening room and in my review system. And as part of that, I've kept everything the same as all the other sound demonstration videos with one exception, with the custom Dirac Live calibration I've done on the system with the Wharfdale Evo 4.2 speakers in, I have pushed them. I mean really, really pushed them to try and deliver a certain type of sound. A sound that obviously they deliver, but to really deliver a full and rich and harmonically rich, big, full sound. So do bear that in mind. That is something really, really important to factor in for this particular sound demonstration. And the reason that I've done that is because I always wanted to create a video to really show you what the Evo 4.2 are capable of. I spent a whole day just working on that and pushing them and pushing them. And I feel like there's maybe a little bit more quality that I could eke out of them, but I think I've pushed them pretty damn far. And, and you'll see that in this video. Sound quality speaks for itself. And yeah, you'll hear it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and all that jazz. I'm gonna hand you over to me in the listening room for a little bit more of an introduction and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, take care. Right then, here we go. The recording session for the Wharfdale Evo 4.2. I've got them set up sounding big, full, rich, clean and sweet. But it's really the harmonic richness and the harmonic content of the music that you're gonna to listen to that I want you to pay attention to because as you can see, the speakers are really aggressively towed in. I've done that on purpose to give the center image this real solid and fullness that combined with the size and scale of the sound, the smoothness, the sweetness, but with the detail and then the space when there is space in the music, those are all the reasons why I gave the Wharfdale Evo 4.2 the best speaker in class for the large speakers and they are only a whisker a couple of whiskers away from being really exceptionally good and you get all of this and all of that potential and capability out of a speaker system for 600 pounds yes they have some limits they have some limitations and some of those limitations are their placement in this room but despite all that the sound quality they can deliver is for 600 pounds exceptional right that sounds like a big introduction. How about some music? Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. These are the days that bind you together forever And these little things define you forever, forever Won't you let it lie? 
Evo 4.2. That's the reason why I gave them the best speaker of the group test. Yes, the uh, Acoustic Energy AE 300 have some better resolution, but that is because the fullness and the tonality of the bigger speaker of the Evo 4.2 isn't there. So a smaller speaker is e that's not really doing a full sound. That's not doing a full bass. It's easier to be. Cl it's not easy because not all the other smaller speakers weren't doing it, but. In a sense, when you start adding the fullness to the sound, when you start adding the bass, when you start adding the bass extension, it's much more difficult for a speaker to stay really crisp sounding and sweet and smooth sounding and give you the outright resolution and clarity. That's why expensive speakers are expensive because they can do all of that. But we've got to bear in mind the Evo 4.2 are only a 600 pound speaker that you're getting a curved cabinet with real wood veneers with a soft dome mid-range driver and a, a, a ribbon type of tweeter for £600. There is a slight sacrifice of top-end extension which gives them that slightly warmer sound which robs them a little bit of some outright transient clarity but in favour of a really smooth and full and detailed sound but an easy going detailed sound that lets you in rather than holds you off and because of that it pulls you into the music and with a lot of music you're really able to go into the recording and listen to how it's put together how it's been organized for good and for bad so yeah i hope you've enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll see you soon take care bye